That's the wake up call that we should all be be hearing at this moment. That wake up call is an update from the International Union for Conservation of Nature. They found 25% of freshwater fish are at risk of extinction. The IUCN said the update is part of the first comprehensive assessment of the world's freshwater fish population. But local experts say the findings are unfortunately not surprising. That it's probably an underestimate. Professor Andrew Ripple is a professor at UC Davis in fish ecology and director at the Center for Watershed Sciences. Our estimate is that about 83% of California fish are vulnerable to extinction in some sort of way. So if we were to put the California number on that IUCN number, it would be much, much higher. A problem that puts not just California's environment at risk, but also the economy. Salmon, just from an economic perspective, contribute you know, $1.4 billion to the California economy. Scott Artis is the executive director of the Golden State Salmon Association. He says that while salmon in some parts of the state are doing well, the opposite is seen in other areas, keeping them at high risk. People should care because this is a species that touches not just people, but the entire environment. We're talking communities, culture, jobs, businesses. Both the IUCN and Professor Ripple link some of the same reasons to the high risk of extinction. That includes the warming of waters from climate change, changes to the natural flow of rivers, along with invasive species and overfishing. All of these things sort of combine to create this ball of environmental stress for fish that, that, that ultimately hurts them. Here locally, Arter says there's hope in the many organizations passionate about this that have come together, but more is needed from state water policymakers. This is the time to fight and to fight for those salmon, those jobs and those people that rely on it. Ripple says using science as a tool will be critical going forward and that humans must be good stewards of land and local waterways. Working together, I mean, that's the name of the game. In the South Bay, Zach Fuentes, ABC7 News.